visual imagery. For those of you who cannot access this page, you just go to your, well, on your YouTube account. You just go and search for Google for Geospatial Prime Tech and click enter. And then, so as to get the code editor links, you go to the playlist and then view, view full playlist. And now you can get the code editor links. We are now at number six. So we are now going to carry out classification of sentinel imagery. Classification from sentinel imagery. So I will go now to my script. Okay. Okay. Now I think it's sentinel. Now we go to the Lagos. Okay, yeah. That is Sentinel 2. From Sentinel 1. Sentinel classification from Sentinel 1 imagery. So Sentinel 1, I think it should be Sentinel. Okay, Sentinel 1 classification. Yeah. Okay, now we have what we have here. We had I had initially showed you how to we go about accessing Sentinel 1 imagery and being able to visualize it. So there is the trans the pol the dual polarization the VV and the VH. Now you can just you can just filter uh, filtering uh, the the collection according to how you want it to be displayed. You can either choose to go with the both or and create a composite or or you can now go with one with each like maybe you go with VV alone or with VVH alone. Okay, now the procedure is just the same. You just after loading your image, your bands, and you select your band selection to be the VV and the VH, and then you do as we did, we did last time, splitting, t test and split, training and split, mm, we split our data into train and test data. So we now come again. We create now water, urban, and forest. Here's the similar example that I used, and we also calculate. A confusion matrix to test the accuracy of our work. Now, when I run this, yeah, so I get an image first of all. So, let me uncheck this first. Let me uncheck that. Okay, so this is our this is our this is our set Sentinel 1 imagery. This is how it looks like. So you you might realize it is Sentinel works work, works by the the reflectance. Maybe uh, uh it works. It is a synthetic synthetic aperture radar. So since you, you can see the brightness varies, you can see maybe some regions are brighter than others. So this is because of reflectance of the electromagnetic waves that uh, maybe the, the radar since it uses the synthetic synthetic aperture radar so and then we carry out now from our classification now you can also carry out the classification of the image as i had showed you initially you just click our points and the urban and yeah that is it